The vice president of Boeing India Business Development Alan Garcia has said that with the Super Hornet Block 3, the Indian Navy would not only get the most advanced platform, but would also benefit from US Navy's tactics upgrades and knowledge related to naval aviation ecosystem. The FA-18 has successfully completed ski jump trials from the shore-based test facility in Goa, carrying two AGM-84 Harpoon missiles weighing a total load out of 1,100 kg, that exceeds the Indian Navy's requirements for ski jump takeoff. The DRDO has officially named the solid-fueled ducted ramjet propulsion-based air-to-air missile as the Astra Mark III that will have a length of 3.8 meters and weight of 218 kilograms. The Astra Mark III can be launched from an aircraft flying at an speed of 2.2 Mach, and it will have a speed of Mach 3.6, and a range of 190 kilometers when launched from 8 kilometers altitude, and a range of 340 kilometers when launched from 20 kilometers altitude. Interestingly, the Astra Mark III will also be integrated on both the Su-30 and Tejas light combat aircraft. The DRDO is preparing to assemble a fully integrated Astra Mark III missile, that will be used for the first developmental trials in mid of 2023. The Smart Torpedo uses solid rocket motor of K-15 submarine launched ballistic missile, and it has completed its ground-based trials, and interestingly, its launcher is now being modified, so that it can be integrated on the Ari Hunt class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. This is significant, as the two 6,000-ton Ari Hunt class SSBNs can now carry a total of 12 smart torpedoes, that will give the Indian Navy a capability to target enemy submarines from 650 km range. The 7,000-ton S-4 submarine is currently in final refit, and the hull of the S-4 Star has been completed, and both the S-4 and S-4 Star will be able to carry 24 smart torpedoes, or 8K-4 SLBMs or 8K-5 SLBMs. The DRDO is considering the development of an enclosed weapons pod for non-stealth fighter jets like Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2 fighter jets, to reduce the radar cross-section while carrying a weapons payload, and also reduce drag and further improve the low observability of the aircraft. The enclosed weapons pod will be a centerline pod, that can carry one ton of weapons, that might include up to four Astra air-to-air -air missiles, or six SAW missiles or two Astra missiles and 500 kg laser-guided bomb. The DRDO is planning to carry out feasibility studies of design, and to see if more than one enclosed weapons pod can be integrated into an aircraft, and to study its effects on the airframe, check signature levels, and its ability to manage high maneuvers. Bharat Electronics Limited has signed a 250 crore rupees contract with the Ministry of Defence, under which it will supply nine integrated anti-submarine warfare complex mod C systems for all surface ships of the Indian Navy, that computes fire control solutions and facilitates firing of torpedoes and anti-submarine rockets. The mod C systems also facilitates countermeasure capability for incoming torpedoes through decoy launching system. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for information for mobile cellular communication system for the Indian Army, that will be based on 4G LTE Advance 5th generation in standalone non-standalone architecture-based network. The intended network will be used by field formations of Indian Army deployed in high mountainous and high altitude regions of up to 18,000 feet. The system will be delivered within 12 months from the award of contract. Nearly two years after placing an order as an emergency procurement, the Indian Army has got deliveries of 20 advanced avalanche rescue systems from a Swedish firm RECO this month. The Army has deployed basic detectors with ground-penetrating radars, but this new advanced system has 150 transponders each, that makes detection faster. <laughs> Roger.